Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'll be playing Riven. After playing Riven for a few games, there are so many important little things that you really have to know about Riven to perfect her gameplay. So during the gameplay part of this video, I'm going to exactly tell you what all these things are. So in the beginning part of the video, I'm going to explain to you how to build Riven. If you want to skip out to the gameplay immediately, timestamps in the description. I want to say one thing though, by the, by the way, guys, I am going to go live on Instagram today. And I uploaded this video at 1 p.m. CET. And two hours after uploading this video, I'm actually going to go live on Instagram. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, there is a link in the description and I'm going to put it in a pinned comment. Okay, so about how to build Riven. Not much has changed, but let me explain to you how to choose your items correctly. So up until now, like Black Cleaver is the best item on Riven because it's so easy to proc it with the first ability. Like, you know, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, blah, blah, blah. You can easily get five stacks and completely shred the armor, uh, the armor of the enemy. So up until now, I would say that you should always go for Black Cleaver. Second item, Death Dance is just amazing. Let me explain why. Um, first of all, of course, Death Dance is a good item. Secondly, Lifesteal is really good with Riven. And third of all, this is the most important one, your third ability gives you a barrier. So um, the thing that like the, the reason that this is even better on Riven is because you know when you take a lot of damage you can use your barrier to tank the death's dance damage as well you know like after you get bursted you can get out with your third ability and then tank that damage as well that's why it's super good more on this later during the gameplay part of the video if you didn't understand what I meant but if the enemy re really doesn't have any burst and you like you know if they don't have any burst you can also choose to get a Starix Gate second item but you know I really like death stance second i've tried both and death stance is just amazing on riven guys so as my third item starix gauge it's just such a good item and um on riven it works perfectly if the enemy has a lot of attack damage or if you have a matchup that has a lot of attack damage and you feel like you're gonna 1v1 them very often get a guardian angel as your third item you know just because it gives you 40 armor and of course guardian angel is a really really good item um, this item is also good, Maul of Marmortius. If you, for example, are against an ability power Gragas in the lane, you can even choose to get this as your second item. And if you're against a lot of ability power, like if you're against Evelyn and Gragas, you know, like Evelyn, Jungwa and Gragas in your lane, I'm not even kidding, you can even get this as your first item. This is the first time that you're gonna hear this on my YouTube channel. You can get Maul of Marmortius as your first item when you're against like Ability power jungler and ability power baron laner. Get like just get them off my Morse's first item. Um, you know, so black cleaver, and then it depends. Maul of Marmortius or Death Stance. And then after that, it also depends. Starrix Cage is just always gonna be good. If the enemy has ability power that is that is annoying to deal with, get a Maul of Marmortius. Um, if the enemy has a lot of armor, I don't recommend you to get a Mortal Reminder third item. If they have a lot of armor, get Mortal Reminder as your what am I doing? As your fifth item. And the reason for that is because you already have a black cleaver. You already shred 25% of their armor, right? So um, that's why, you know, if you get a mortal reminder, get it as your fifth or sixth item. And I only recommend to get it if they really have a lot of armor, right? Like if they have a full tank Vi, full tank Alistar, full tank Gragas, you know, then you can get a mortal reminder. Um, okay. Oh, actually, there's another item bloodthirster guys let me talk about this item only go for bloodthirster if you just want damage if like if you if you if you're snowballing the game like if you're seven zero eight zero get a bloodthirster because what this item is going to do it's going to give you 65 attack damage take a look at all the other items guys take a look at how much attack damage any other item gives you 50 55 55 45 the point is this item gives you a lot of attack damage also it gives you physical fab and the shield so this item as i said is really good if you're snowballing with riven you can choose to get it as your third item or uh, uh, as your fourth item you know it depends uh what did i have here i forgot <laughs> whatever so yeah um yeah i had this one here so that's um <laughs> i keep forgetting bloodthirster is really good if you're snowballing the game otherwise don't get it so as for the runes conqueror it's so easy to stack up the conqueror it's just like black cleaver so just get a conqueror it's super easy to stack as my second rune i like to go for hunter vampirism L like vampirism is just so good on on riven you know you can keep fighting over and over again tank with your third ability it's just such an amazing tool to have for riven you know a lot of vampirism 
Um, you can also get a Brutal if you just want to, you know, if you just want to have a good early game. I don't recommend Brutal though because Hunter Vampirism is really, really strong on Riven. As my third rune, I go for Hunter Titan, you know, just for the extra tenacity, it's really, really nice on Riven. Um, and the fourth rune, now as you can see, I have Sweet Tooth, and the reason for that is Sweet Tooth is broken. Honestly, like Sweet Tooth doesn't really make sense on Riven, because Riven doesn't have uh, doesn't have mana. But the thing is, the 60 gold and increased healing still makes it worth to go Sweet Tooth, guys. But, um, if, you, if you don't want to go for a Sweet Tooth, you can choose to go for Hunter Genius. Hunter Genius, you know, of course, Ability Haste. Really, really good on Riven, guys. But... I still recommend you to get a Sweet Tooth, just for the laning, right? It's going to be really good for laning, and you'll see that later on in the gameplay. As your spells, you go for a Flash, and then either Ignite or a Barrier. It depends, you know, if you feel like the enemy is going to, you know, if you feel like you can utilize the Barrier, get a Barrier. If you feel like you want to play super aggressive and utilize an Ignite, get an Ignite. So that was it about the gameplay, uh, that was it about the build, let's get into the gameplay. All right, on to the gameplay. Guys, keep in mind that I'm giving, giving away 15 skins in the month of June. All you gotta do to enter is put down a comment under this video. Also, give this video a like. You know what? If this video reaches 1,500 likes, I'm gonna make a tier list tomorrow. Screw it. Tomorrow. I'll make a tier list to for tomorrow if this video reaches 1,500 likes. So, I'm actually against an Irelia, and this is a very, very interesting match. Take a look at this. So, this Irelia actually took her second ability first, which was actually really smart like as you can see she traded pretty effectively with me and the reason for that was because her second ability makes her tankier but generally on Riven like in these 1v1 fights you should win generally you know generally and the way that you win it is here first ability basic attack first ability basic attack and a first ability basic attack and here I actually flashed out because I kind of messed it up so I did a really good combo and the Aurelia is low but I flashed away because she could have actually dashed to me with her first ability and potentially killed me so now I have to be careful and look this is the reason that you need a sweet tooth guys this is what I was talking about you just, like the extra healing makes it so good take a look at this guy what is he doing he actually has to flash away as you can see so we're both very low and I have to be careful of the enemy jungler and what I'm doing here is I'm just freezing the lane and he, the enemy Aurelia is going to take a heal but let's take a look at what's going to happen here so your third ability gives you a barrier take a look at this barrier basic attack look, just look at this combo and I get my stun boom I want, I want to take a look at that again take a look at what I do I'm going to explain to you what it is third ability basic attack first ability Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, reposition yourself and then knock the enemy up. Take a look at this, here. Third ability, empowered basic attack, first ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack. And then I position myself correctly, I knock her up and I kill her. This is a super strong combo with Riven. This is like your general trading combo in the lane. Always use your third ability before because it's just, well... 90% of the times, you know, 90% of the times you want to use the third ability. Let me tell you another very important thing about Riven, guys, which is dodging enemy abilities. So the way that you want to draft Riven is you don't want to pick Riven into champions that are just basic attack oriented, like Renekton, for example, or um, Garen, or... Uh, you know, basic attack or Fiora. F F Riven is horrible into Fiora. Let me explain. So, part of Riven's kit is dodging enemy abilities. For example, when you're against a Darius, you can always dodge his first abilities, his first ability, you know, the, the circle thing, with either your first ability or your third ability. You have, you have all these dashes, guys. Also, another example, Camille. When Camille uses her second ability, when Camille uses her second ability, you can dodge it with your first ability or your third ability. And this is very important, guys. When you play Riven, you have to utilize the dodging of her. Because that's, you know, that's what provides value in her kit, the dodging. And don't just randomly use your first ability just to deal damage. As I said, I'm going to repeat it because this is very important. Use it to dodge enemy abilities. Oh, I'm fighting the Fizz here. This was a really close fight. <clears throat> also, before you initiate fights, when you want to go all in, use your ultimate, guys. Oh, he actually pushed her out of my reach. Wow. The Lee Sin actually trolled there so hard. He even saved Irelia. Oh, no, Lee. What did you do? The Lee Sin actually completely entered this fight for us. We would have killed both of them if he didn't use his ultimate like that. But it's okay. Um... 
So let's talk about the second ability of Riven. This is also a really, really good ability. Guys, Riven has such good abilities. And I'll talk to you about how to combo them later. Of course, I have a full Riven guide on my YouTube channel. If you want to learn the champion as, uh, as well, you know, just look at my YouTube channel and you'll find it. Um, so the way that I really like to use my second ability. Oh, take a look at this. It's exactly like this. So either after engaging with your third ability or with your first ability. Because... When you engage with your third ability, like you'll likely be in the middle of the enemy. And when you're in the middle of the enemy, you can just stun all of them with your second ability. You know, easy peasy. And another thing to note is when you use your ultimate, your abilities get a bigger range. So also, um, when you want to engage in a fight, use your ultimate immediately. Because that's also going to increase the radius of your second ability. Like you can stun more enemies around you, right? And your first ability is also going to get a bigger range. These are all very, very important things to understand, guys. Let's take a look at this fight. So here I immediately use my ultimate to fight, right? And um, I didn't want to go for the Kai'Sa because Lee Sin was going to kill her anyways. So instead I actually followed the Fizz. Also, the ultimate, the second charge of the ultimate, which I actually forgot to use here, um, deals more damage if the enemy is at low HP. So it's a really, really good finisher. And like, you don't always want to use it in the beginning of the fight. You want to use this one as late as possible. Because the later you use it, the lower the enemy is going to be, and the more damage it's going to deal, of course, right? So the later that you can use it, the better. <clears throat> By the way, guys, you know, keep in mind, I'm going to go live on Instagram um, at 3 p.m. CET, which is two hours after uploading this video. Make sure you follow my Instagram, guys. I'm also, you know, I also post daily in my story. I post new posts like almost every week. You know, if you're interested in me as well, you know, instead of only my Wild Drift content, make sure to follow me on Instagram, right, guys? Also, kind of funny, it's my birthday today. I didn't even mention it in the beginning part of the video. It's actually my birthday. That's why I'm doing this funny little thing. So, you know, happy birthday to me, I guess. I turned 21 years old. Crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really enjoying my birthday. I'm going to enjoy my birthday a lot. Like, I'm going to go out with my sister. And uh, I'm going to live stream with her too. Oh, look at this fight. I got the barrier. Oh, my God. God, so close. And as you could see, like I dodged the fizz ability with my third ability. These are the powers of Riven, guys. Dodge abilities. You have to do it. If you don't do it, you're just going to get completely destroyed when you're playing Riven. The whole power of Riven comes at dodging abilities. You know, like you can be a good Riven, but you can be an absolutely amazing Riven if you are able to dodge abilities really effectively. Like, you have to focus super hard when playing Riven. Focus on when the enemy is going to use their abilities. Like, when you're against an Akali, for example, dodge her third ability or dodge her first ability. When you're against... Um... And look, this is actually a really bad matchup for me. Singed. Singe is actually a really, really bad matchup for Riven. So, if you want to counter Riven, pick Singed, Singed guys. Because Riven really can't do much against... Uh, uh, Riven really can't do much against a Singed. <clears throat> So about what abilities to upgrade, first you want to upgrade your, oh, take a look at this fight first. Let's look at the fight first. I don't have my ultimate, so I actually disengaged. I'm waiting for my ultimate before I want to engage, because your ultimate gives you bonus damage. And take a look at this, guys. I use my ultimate, I go in, I do so much damage, and boom, I just completely wiped their team. Oh my god. This is Riven for you guys. This is what Riven can do. So the reason that I was actually able to wipe their entire team is because my ultimate gives me a bigger range on my first ability. So I was able to deal damage to all of the enemies with my first ability. And that is really huge. Like if the enemies are clumped up together, use your ultimate, stun all of them with your second ability, you deal damage to them with your first ability. That's what you want to do on Riven guys. Just boom, boom, boom in team fights. So what was I going to say? I actually forgot what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, a thing to note on Riven is you can do a little surprise combo. You know, there's like a little surprise thing, but this is very high risk. So what you can do is before a team fight, you can dash two times with your first ability, right? You can dash two times and then your third dash is going to be a knock up. So what you can do to surprise the enemies, you can then immediately knock them up. This would obviously be really, really strong if you have a Yasuo in your team, because he can follow up on the knockup. But this combo that I just talked about, you know, using your first ability two times and then immediately knock up an enemy. With this combo, you're going to do less damage. 
but you're gonna immediately knock up an enemy which could be a really good surprise factor because you can also use a flash and then knock them up or you can dash with your third ability and then flash right and like after your knock up you can stun them immediately as well so on to my next point on um, comboing with riven with stuns so riven has two cc abilities first of all knock up on her first ability second of all her uh, her second ability which is a stun so generally what you want to do is you want to knock up the enemy with your first ability and then uh, and then you want to stun them with your second ability this way you're, you're going to be able to stun the enemies for like two or three seconds which is huge you can also actually stun them first with your second ability and after the stun you can knock them up these are both viable combos and the second combo is actually a bit easier to do because with the second combo you can uh, hit your knock up very very easily so keep that in mind when playing Riven. You wanna, you wanna, uh, you don't wanna use both abilities at the same time. You wanna time it. Look, 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 look. He start. Look at just look at the CC chain that me and Galio have on the enemy. Insane, guys. Absolutely insane. Like you don't wanna use all your abilities at the same time. Time it correctly. <clears throat> so in this game, I'm actually you know going for a Guardian Angel because they have a lot of uh, uh, mad attack damage and only singed has ability power so you know I, i'm like who cares about the singed right I, i'm just gonna get actually fizz also has it but i, I just want to have a lot of armor in this game and the reason that i bought guardian angel as well is because they have a fizz um even though he's ability power he has big cc ability no big damage burst ability so i guess champions like zed fizz uh what is another champion you know like big burst champions you want to get a guardian angel because they have like this all in combination um also katarina and if you can deny their all in combination you know because they won't kill you because you have a guardian angel it's a really really powerful item so in this game as i said they have a lot of attack damage and the fizz so i counter four of the enemies with my guardian angel item and as you can see the kaisa is pretty scared here because she knows that i can probably kill her pretty easily so let's take a look at this guys they're both trying to fight me and what am i gonna do i'm gonna use my ultimate engage flash on him just like how crazy is this guys here easy peasy kills guys easy peasy and the third ability is such a powerful tool guys it's just like you can dodge ability so easily and the barrier that it gives you oh my god like so strong and make sure you use basic attacks in between your abilities as well when playing riven because that's how you can maximize your damage per second right every ability gives you a stack and this stack gives you bonus damage on your next basic attack so you want to continuously basic attack the enemy while using your abilities don't just spam your abilities use basic attacks very very important use basic attacks guys as you can see every time i'm using a basic attack every single time it's super important here basic attack ev like every time i'm never ignoring the basic attacks and this is a really really important thing on riven to do guys every single time you use an ability try to basic attack and i'm here and when taking turrets this is what you can do as well use your abilities to generate stacks and then just take the turrets with the bonus damage right <laughs> here i'm kind of trolling around with them honestly like you know obviously this is not smart to do to stay in their base but i'm just kind of playing around oh i just missed my stun that's sad we should probably go back but what am i doing of course i'm just limit testing myself here trying to see how far i can go <laughs> yeah oh actually so close to surviving that because this is also the power of riven and because of the death stance you can survive a lot of damage and you have a lot of uh, vampirism so when you get your first ability again you can just continuously deal damage and then of course heal up also your third ability you know keep using it over and over again never leave it on cooldown use it over and over and over again because every four seconds in the late game you can get that free barrier which is gonna allow you to tank even more damage and all these things combined are gonna allow you to become a super strong uh, uh, fighter for your team you can just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and if you do it correctly the enemy is gonna have a really hard time to kill you you're gonna be a really annoying champion to deal with for the enemies right man i actually can't believe that i turned 21 years old that's so old like i'm almost gonna become a grandpa jesus 21 
Like, I'm not a kid anymore. I remember the days when I was like 17, 18 years old, when I was just chilling. Now I actually have responsibilities and a life, you know, I have to do things. Crazy. I want to go back to childhood, man. I don't want to, I don't want to become an adult. This is not fun. I just want to play with my friends, have fun, you know, <laughs> I don't want to have responsibilities in life. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. I might pick up Aurelia too. I, I I made a Riven video because I really like Riven. I don't know about Aurelia though. I also like Aurelia. If there is enough interest to it, you know, I'll do Aurelia as well. Just let me know in the comments. If you really want to see Aurelia, let me know in the comments, guys. Just take a look at this, guys. Look at how strong Riven is when diving under turrets as well. Your third ability with the barrier here. Look at this. I keep fighting. This is what you want to do. Keep fighting. And the barrier. See that? The barrier of my third ability. Easy peasy survive. Here. Again. The barrier. Do you guys see how strong this is? Just look at this. Oh. I almost survived as well. But you guys can see how much how much you heal up with this build. So in this game, I went for a bloodthirster because of the snowballing. And as you can see, the, the power of the bloodthirster lies within the lifesteal, right? Or the vampirism, sorry. You can just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and you get so much vampirism, you heal up so much that it's like you're gonna be way tankier as well because the enemy has to deal way more damage to you. And here, you know, the game is the game is just over and at this point, you know, the enemies really can't do much anymore. The game is just over and uh, yeah, they should probably surrender the game because yeah, there's really not much else for them to do. Yeah, <laughs> what are they gonna do? The game is just over at this point. And uh, yeah, about the enchantment, I really like Proto Belt on uh, on uh, Riven to give you even more uh, mobility. You can also go for a Stasis Enchant or Teleport, you know. But I personally like Proto Belt. It's really really good. So let's take a look at the damage that I've actually done in this game. I really wonder how much damage I did. Let's see. Come on. Here. Damn. That's a, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, check out the Instagram, you know, for the live or just for the Instagram, right? So, yeah. That was it about today's video. And I'll see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye-bye. <laughs>